This video will demonstrate some of the more common operational and maintenance procedures of the CBS cable blowing machine. The following procedure can be used for replacing either the top or bottom chains of the pusher unit on the blowing machine. Disconnect the hydraulic motor fixing bolts with a 6mm Allen key. Next, remove the stop washer from the base of the main clamping screw using the same 6mm Allen key. This will allow you to completely undo the main clamping screw and separate the top and bottom halves of the pusher unit. The first step in the removal of the chain is to release the chain adjusters on both sides of the machine with the 13mm spanner. Remove the swing bolt and washer on the operating panel side of the machine. This will allow you to remove the shaft sleeve from the tensioner pin and push the pin out of the sprocket assembly. Using the screwdriver as a lever, next remove the sprocket from the chain mechanism. Locate the connecting link of the chain and remove the split horseshoe clip from it with the pliers. This will enable you to completely dismantle the chain. With the chain now split, it can be removed from the pusher unit. To replace the chain, first check the condition of the chain slide bars and also the free rotation of the sprocket. Feed the chain into the unit. Reassemble the chain connecting link. And refix the split horseshoe clip. With the chain now reconnected, align the tension sprocket and locate into position within the unit. Insert the tension pin through the sprocket, replace the shaft sleeve on the pin and refit the swing bolts. Taking care not to over tighten the mechanism, adjust the chain evenly via the swing bolts. Check free rotation of the mechanism. To reassemble the two halves of the unit, simply refit the main clamping screw. and replace the stop washer on the base of the main clamping screw with the 6mm Allen key. Reconnect the hydraulic motor fixings. The machine must now be reconnected to a power pack and the chain tension tested before further use.
When working with a range of cable diameters, it may be necessary to replace the collets within the air box. First, simply open the air chamber to expose the collets. Remove the relevant socket head cap screw with a 4mm Allen key. Remove the unwanted collet from the air box, select the required collet. Having ensured that the air chamber is cleaned with a dry cloth, insert the new collet and secure it with a head cap screw. Align the other half of the required collet and close the air chamber.